The Lancaster man says he is thankful even after a terminal prognosis from cancer and losing his wife while seeking treatment. There's no doubt he's been through a lot and thanks now to a clinical trial. Doctors say his outlook is looking a bit better. And WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal spoke to him about his journey in the face of serious illness. Every three weeks, Ken Falkenberry can be found sitting in one of the recliners at Carolina Bio-Oncology Institute, often chatting it up with staff members. On this particular day, the 74-year-old grandfather opening up to me about faith. I think you have to have a purpose in life. I think, you know, you have to have a reason to live. Diagnosed with colon cancer in 2017, he had surgery and received chemotherapy. By all accounts, prognosis was encouraging. Then in 2019, he says a lymph node showed up behind his liver in a delicate location, leading him to seek treatment outside of Charlotte. He remembers the Duke University oncologist told him he likely had six to 12 months to live. After that appointment... My kids told me, said, Daddy, we're going to MD Anderson in Houston, Texas. You can go willingly or hog tied and drug, whichever you prefer. That surgery also went well. But from the type of cancer I have, they I always knew it was coming back. He says he received all the chemotherapy doctors thought he could have, followed by more personal tragedy in May of last year. And when I get back home, my wife had passed away in her sleep. Call it divine intervention or just timing. He says within weeks of her passing, doctors at the Huntersville Cancer Research Clinic called. Because cancer is kind of a moving target and every year new treatments get developed, but it can take years to be available and covered by insurance. Falkenberry was eligible for a clinical trial. Our immune system has the ability to ward off foreign invaders of the body, including infection and cancer specifically. What immunotherapy does is it essentially finds ways to teach or awaken our immune system up to fight cancer. A lot of cancers tend to grow because the immune system is not awake. Thankfully, he's been on the same treatment um, and getting some good response um, with, you know, shrinkage, tumor shrinkage, and stability of the tumor. I'm just so thankful that we found yeah. them. In Huntersville, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte.